Did I not even wait for the countdown? Hello! Welcome! Welcome to another Flights with Joel. Uh, what's happening? I am back on the hover ramp. Today with a much more challenging helicopter than last week. And, oh, that's odd. It looks like I turned on my closed captioning. How the heck do I, how do I turn that off? Hmm. That's annoying. Hey, Red Heron, it's goat time. It is. I'm going to see if anyone else shows up. Not many people here um, on the Twitch today. Um, I was thinking of something. Oh, I was going to see if anyone was at the airport entertaining themselves as I try to teach. Because I know there's a few people hanging around elsewhere. Let me just switch this. We'll just switch this on and watch people fly around as I try to impart some information. If there's anyone here, we will see. Resume. There we go. So today I'm going to try it in. Oh boy, it's really bothering me that I have hold on, a little technical behind the scenes. I have to keep talking as I do this. How do? Oh, there it is. It's that button. There we go. I see why I couldn't find it. Mm-hmm. Much better. Much better. Okay. Cool. KMSO Scenery in Montana. The old hover control facility for all of your flight training needs. Starting out today in the most challenging helicopter for me in the flight sim, flight simulator 2020. The Bell 47 by Fly Inside Helicopters. Well, there's some objects over there to fly around. I didn't notice those before. I wonder if you can tip those over with your skid. Probably not. I'm thinking not. So uh, again, welcome. Thanks everybody for flying along. We will be doing this hover exercise and talk about the hover and helicopter. Then we're going to completely switch gears and fly the Kodiak or a 208 or whatever you prefer in the mountains. In the mountains. With a lot of uh, landings, high landings, short airports. I have no idea um, about some of the approaches. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be very interesting. So, uh, back where we started yesterday. Uh, first of all, the fly inside is sort of similar to the freeware helicopters with Airland FS, except it has its own. It has its own program. What do they call it? Let me bring this up for you. So, these helicopters have. It's this one, right? N yeah, no. But we'll get to that. They have this. Um. The Fly Inside Helicopters has its own program, which also is running in the background, um, and it has different settings to make sure you set up right, and then you can adjust the flight model. You can put it all the way over on easy if you're just starting out, or you just don't want as much of a challenge, or you can put it all the way on realistic. Oh, well, that's weird. What did I do? I meant to put it there. <laughs> I must have unclicked that. And then these sliders you can play with too. Um, all the way over here. Oh, this changed on me. I had that set more up there this morning. I had slid it up a bit. Because you want it, you want the cyclic to be sensitive. This um, The stability I turned down a little bit. Because all the way at zero it seems like... Um, I don't have the proper controls or something. It doesn't work very well at all. And tail stability is just that. How stable is the tail? So you can play around with it. Make it uh, feel how, you know, more like you want it. And just looking for a button. Is it that one? Yes. Uh, back to the helicopter flying handbook. This is where we started last week. I'm sure everyone has read up to this point by now. Where am I? 
I have to bring it up for me. There we go. There it is. For some reason. Oh, there we go. Just trying to move it around on my screen. You can't see what I'm doing at all. So the hover is actually quite a ways into the handbook. It's many, many pages. So they want you to know first, they want you to know everything about how a helicopter works, the aerodynamics of helicopters, um, how the uh, basic mechanics work of a helicopter, uh, how the flight controls work in a helicopter, which we went over last time. So I don't know if I will go over it again. Uh, I will a little bit as I fly. Uh, all the instruments of a helicopter, all the radios of a helicopter, all of this, all of this is before they get into the hover. Now, the hover, of course, is the key to flying a helicopter. How the, This is how the rotor works. Bernelli's principle, wind. There's so much to read in here. This is uh, attached again to the description of this flight. If you're uh, wanting to see it in, in any Discord that I put it in, I put it in my Discord, I put it in Rotor Pilots Discord, I put it in High Performance Group's Discord, I put it in um, the Flight Simulator Discord, Microsoft Flight Simulator Discord. So there's all the different places that has a link to this. This is the actual FAA book that you need to get certified to fly. All the things that can go wrong, um, the reasons that the, this is, applies to all aircraft, the, the, um, the four forces, hover flight. Hovering is the most challenging part of flying a helicopter. This is because a helicopter generates its own gusty air while in a hover, which acts against the fuselage and flight control surfaces. The end result is constant control inputs and corrections by the pilot to keep the helicopter where it is required to be. Despite the complexity of the task, the control inputs in a hover are simple. <laughs> yeah, simple. The cyclic easy is to eliminate drift in the horizontal plane, controlling forward, backward, right, and left movement or travel. The throttle, if not gover governor controlled, is used to control re uh, revolutions per minute. The collective is used to maintain altitude. The pedals are used to control nose direction or heading. Well, most of us are going to be using a governor. If you're not, way to go. Nice, nice added challenge. It is the interaction of these controls that makes hovering difficult. Yeah, that's that's putting it about um, that's about the most mild way to put it as possible. Uh, there's nothing simple about the hover, but it's what we use to do everything in the helicopter, right? It's it's um, it's what we use for every maneuver. And I start out shut down, so we get to start this up too. This is such a great machine, but it's very slow, and I I see why people don't fly it as often on our group flights. But it uh, there's actually a flight Saturday in one of the discords. Now I can't remember who it is. Someone's doing a, a, a Bell 47 flight specifically um, going to the MASH site. And that's what this is. This is basically a MASH um, recreation livery complete with the stretchers on the side. MASH is a television show from the 70s. If anyone doesn't remember it, it's a television show from the 70s. So when you are in the hover, you are using everything simultaneously the throw the uh collective the cyclic collective and your pedals and every time the thing that people kind of that i might have forgot to mention last week is anytime you move the pedal you're gonna have to move the cyclic anytime you move the cyclic you're probably gonna have to adjust pedals anytime you move the collective you're gonna have to move a little bit of pedal and a little bit of cyclic. And you'll see how poor I am at now that I'm in a real machine. Um, so to start this up, let's get it going. I'm going to have to turn the volume down as soon as I start it so you can hear me. So mixture full rich. Now, what I have for your and starters I, ooh, today is a potato is. encrusted scallop <laughs> with lobster foam. And we're going to top that with some nice cream fraiche. And today... On this helicopter, which is different than others, I have the throttle set. I have set the throttle on my throttle so that it moves. So um, this is the only one that that's working on so far. The H13545 don't really have a throttle in flight because of their, their control differently. So power on. Now I start here. And I do a flow track kind of down here. Look at all the instruments. Make sure they're right. Um, turn on. Is it this light? I'm way out here. 
strobe. Turn on the strobe so people know I'm about to start. There's uh, labels on all the other liveries other than this one, but this doesn't have the labels for all, um, these switches. They will need to be on in a moment. Uh, you hit, I think you hit the fuel pump first for about four seconds. Prime the engine. You don't actually need it. It will start no matter, pretty much no matter what you do. So it's all set to start now. You would clear the prop, open the doors, clear prop. And I have it, I should have the throttle, all the throttles all the way back. So this is kind of fun because we do get to play with the throttle on this. Start her up. There we go. Prop is moving. RPM is coming up and rotor is coming up. And I will have to turn it down because it's blasting. It's the loudest helicopter in the sim. There we go. I've said this too many times, but it does annoy me that people seem to have to have different volumes for different aircraft. Oh, I had this set. There we go. There we go. Okay. That's what I want to do. It was set the wrong way. There we are. Now it's at idle. We do have some people flying around here. Hello. Hello. Good morning. So we would sit this here for uh, probably two minutes. A good two minutes to let the transmission warm up. And, and then we would bring the throttle up to where you're in the green. So I'm slowly bringing it up. There's a yellow patch here that means don't leave it there because it'll shake the thing apart. If you leave it at those, those RPMs, it'll literally shake the helicopter apart. That's why it's yellow. So we bring it up into the green, and then we gotta back, as soon as it gets up there, we gotta back it off a little. So you're watching the manifold pressure here. You have to back it down to keep it in the green. So it's very, it's very touchy. But if you want to have the experience of running a throttle and the collective, this helicopter allows that. But I'm going to turn on the governor. And now the governor is uh, working the throttle for me. And so I don't have to do it. So we're just going to hang out here a minute. Turn on my lights. Relax a minute. This is the hard part. Oh, I'm going to turn on... <laughs> I'm going to turn on my recording because I did turn on some recording. Another nice tool is to have some type of recorder. I have flight recorder. Obviously, if we had a replay, replay would be cool. But I'm going to record what I'm doing. And so I can see just how bad it is or good it is, just how good it is. So the uh, one of the things that I was taught, oh, look at that. How awesome is that? One of the things that I was taught early on, well, I was taught to hover the way I learned to hover is different than what we can do here in this sim. Because I was taught to slide around on the ground, which is a great tool. It's a great way to... It's not how you learn to hover in the real world at all. It's not. But you have an instructor in the real world, and the instructor is helping you with the controls. So in the sim, I would just slide it around, but it doesn't work very well in these sims. Here, we'll try it. We'll see if it'll do anything. See, it doesn't really... At this point, it should be... The skid should be sliding. But yeah, they, they just don't slide until you get off the ground. It doesn't really slide. So you have to pop it up in the air and play with it. And um, sort of the, the biggest thing to remember, if you're not good in the hover, if you've never done a hover, um, is that it's more of controlling the drift. That's a big part of it. You're trying to get the drift as little as possible. It's going to drift a little bit. Um, and in the sim, all you have is your eyes. In the helicopter, you have all of the senses. You have a lot of other stuff to tell you what's gonna happen. So you can grab it before it happens. But it's really tough to do that in a helicopter. It's hard to, to control it before it starts to drift. So this is a crazy machine. Here we go. Oh, wow. Also, this will, oops, I'm not doing very well. Not doing very well. This one will break. If you keep it in the yellow and especially the red, um, you will break it. So I'm not controlling the drift at all. I'm barely staying within the yellow. I'm trying to stay over the H, but it's very difficult. There are four of these hover circles here at KMSO. It's hard to get it. I'm doing the um, directional pretty good. 
but it's hard to get it to, to stay straight. And not bad. That's not, not too shabby. Not, not too shabby. So really, I'm just wanting to stay here as long as I can. I think I'm having a little bit of frame rate issues. See, I keep drifting back. And when you push forward um, on this, it goes, it goes a little wacky. There we go. Oh, uh, and also what you're seeing is overcorrection. Overcorrecting is a big one in a helicopter. And I tend to do it a lot in this. The other ones are so much easier to hover. I'll be honest with you. And that's why I chose this one. Start with something that's just not, it's not so easy. It's a little harder. Oh, nice. HC688, hello, hello, ha, that's awesome. I was just talking about how I learned at hover control by sliding around first. Someone talked, to, we were able to slide around, which I noticed, I went into X-Plane yesterday, same thing. You can slide all over first. So if you have X-Plane, um, it's actually, but in here, you can turn them down. You can turn the realism. So I'm tr as I get closer to the ground, the ground effect gets, um, it changes in the 47. They actually have done a really good job. Now let's see how I did. I'm going to push replay. They did a really good job of simulating uh, everything in this helicopter. So I'm going to hit replay, then I'm going to pause, speed up to where I take off. And about there. And we'll just see how I did. Let's kind of see how, how it was going. And yeah, this will be weird for the people flying around. You're seeing the replay now. Oh, that's weird. It actually didn't... The replay isn't working because that's not where I was when I took off. How strange is that? And the controls are more spastic. Well, that's odd. That replay doesn't even look right. <laughs> but it probably is. So the replay doesn't show you the controls right. They're really spastic, uh, which is unfortunate. The replay in the sim, the experimental replay... The controls don't move at all. But here we go. So I'm getting it under control now. Now it's getting a little better. I love how the um, other helicopters are just hanging in there. I'm starting to relax. I'm starting to get out of the panic mode. But I'm drifting really bad. It's very hard to control the drift. And this is with no wind. I've got... I just have a mild day on. I have like a five knot wind. So once you add wind, then it's a huge challenge. Boy, this guy can't hover at all. <sighs> yeah, it's, diff it's a tricky one. Also, while we're watching this, maybe we can talk about the new high-performance group H145 that everyone said didn't exist. Many, many people told me they were not going to come out with sling loads or HEMS or firefighting helicopters in the H145. And what did they announce today? <laughs> A new helicopter add-on. Yet another. It's still the 145, but it adds a lot. It adds a lot that people have been waiting for. It just shows how, um, how plugged in they are to the community and how willing they are to, to try and do what people want. So there we go. There's the first part. Although sloppy, and like I say, I picked a, I picked a sloppy one on purpose. I'm trying to stop my replay. Oh, it is stopped. Okay. We'll record the next section then. Okay, it's recording. There we go. Pop back in. And uh, really, I should turn this on. This is going to help me a lot. So now I'm going to try to go around this uh, hover circle. So this is basically pre-hover taxi. We're, we're going to just hover around 
a spot here and try and do some uh, more precise hovering. So the next thing will be hover taxing, which is pretty much just hovering on the move, but it's very hard in this helicopter. So I want to go over, whoops, come on, go over to this spot without hitting the ground. And this is especially good so hard good thing there's no one here um, chatting a lot because I wouldn't be able to read it so here we go there's the first spot then we release a little pedal to get over to the second spot sorry I'm gonna go right on you whoops whoa oh I just can't even get it together here did I just get blown back by that helicopter holy mackerel that's terrible. This is the worst I've ever done. I wonder, did it, was, is it really that sophisticated that his, uh, his rotor was, no, it, that wasn't it. I don't know what it is. I can barely do this today. Might be that my frames were a bit hit. Get over the second spot. Yeah, I might have to turn my uh, multiplayer off for a moment to practice this. Best to practice this outside of multiplayer. If you're in the 47, I would say. So you have, you know, no interruptions. But it's fun to have the other helicopter around. Third square. It's the worst. I wouldn't pass today. I would not pass the hover control test. Well, I might in a Bell 40, in a 206. Because this is definitely more difficult than a 206. Definitely more difficult. And then I think the idea was to go back onto the middle square and set down. Ooh, yeah, I'm not controlling this very well at all. Anyone who is listening and would want to try it, welcome to try it. There we go. That was a smash. That would have gone clunk. That would have made a lot of noise. But I'm fairly in the middle. I'm pretty much in the middle. Anyone? Anyone want to give it a try? My labels don't seem to be on. Let's see here. I'm not sure who that is, but go for it. Go forward. There we go. Hover around. Yeah, my lay. I guess the labels are off, so you, everyone gets to do this. You anano, anano, anonymous, anonymously, <laughs> not unanimously, anonymously. There it is. Have whoever that is having an easy time. Very nice. So that is a better example of what you're trying to do. <laughs> just like that. Not so much what I just did. What I just did was sloppy. Nice, slow, controlled hover over each square. Procedure is hover over to the right, makes 45 degree turn to right, and then sidestep to next square, turn in direction of arrow. Oh, sidestep to next square. I was doing it completely wrong. We'll try that next. Procedure. So whoever's doing that, we're doing it wrong. You're supposed to go sideways to the next square. Then turn to the direction of arrow. And then proceed to the next square. That does make it harder. So you're getting a um, hover to the side, not just forward. Uh, I didn't actually read the procedures. But that makes more sense. Oh, now we got two people going. All right. So what we're trying to do is go sideways from square to square. Then turn to the direction of the arrow. 
then go forward. This is actually better. This is easier to watch others do it. There it is. Let's see if my labels will come on. That's right. Just like that. That's way, that's way harder, isn't it? Ooh, he just had a tail strike. That is much more difficult. That is so interesting that I can, the uh, rotors work for the H125 and the R44, but not the 45. So, or what is that, a 35? Someone was here, but they disappeared because they're too close. I don't know what happened there. All right, let me see if I can do it the correct way in here. I don't know if I'm still recording. So I suppose we would start here. Oh, there it is. It's a one, four, five. The, um, those disappear quicker than the other helicopters, apparently, when they get close to you. So hover over this one and slide over to the next one, going a little fast. Then turn to the direction of the arrow. Oh, geez, yeah. Getting way off. There we go. Almost. Almost. Correct the drift. Correct the drift. Then slide over to the next one. Okay, nope. Oh, boy. Can't even see the next one. Turn to the arrow. <laughs> I'm not giving up. Not giving up. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna stay with the 47. There we go. There we go. Slide over to the next one. I have to correct sooner, and I'm overcorrecting a whole bunch. Rookie mistake. Turn the direction of the arrow. Try and get over it. Oh, jeez. Well, I blew that. I blew that exercise entirely. <laughs> I don't know. I think we should watch that. Would be much easier, H145, just turn on GTC and beep. Yep, that's true. We'll get into that on the final lesson. <laughs> you definitely could just beep trim it. Uh, okay, let me just see how terrible that was. Um, oh, I wasn't recording. I thought I was. Oh, well, we don't get to watch that over. So the next, so basically that is, um, hovering to the side, changing directions, pedal turns. Um, all of that is in that exercise. Drift over quarter pedal turn to the right once you're over it and this one is really hard to control at all I can't control it at all it's getting frustrating <laughs> and this is uh, includes every helicopter I fly is easier than this so there we go and then the next thing to do would be a full pedal pedal turn over a spot and that is uh, probably the most challenging Probably the most challenging. So you're headed this this direction. And I'll do a right pedal turn. So you, you have to keep adjusting as you turn. And of course, the slower you go, the easier it's going to be. If you do it really fast, like the people herding cattle, it's going to be insane. I'm getting pretty far off the spot. Going slow. So... Try to relax. Try to get it in one spot. Try and keep it together. There we go. And then I'll continue the turn. Boy, it really... Really creates some lift. I must have some wind going. Continue the turn. That's it. Ah, people have figured out that there's more than one square. Oh, Smitty's here. Now I see some names. 
and then back to the square. Oh boy, I'm way off. Back where I was. So that's not too bad. Not too bad, just a little off. It would be easier. So the next thing is just a hover taxi. And hover taxi is just moving around in the hover. So we will use, thank you. Thanks, it was, it, <laughs> it's a hard helicopter to do this exercise in. Uh, now we will use the, the um, torches. We have these torches over here. So we'll do a little hover taxiing around the torches. Um, and I think we have enough people here to do, to have some fun before we switch to the, the full flight. But hover taxi is just that. It's taxiing in a hover. So here's how you get around an airport. Here's how you begin and end every flight. You hover taxi about. So there is a exercise I know to taxi around these at 40. But I'm actually going to go a little slower than that, more like hover taxi speed. So um, probably next week we'll do the 40 knot uh, slow flight around these. So every bit that we're doing today is a little dangerous, right? It's a little risky because when you're in a hover, uh, if something goes wrong, you have no time. At, at, um, this height, you're okay. Your skids will probably protect you. Maybe you'll have a slight fracture in the back. Um, you know, maybe you'll have a little damage. But you should be all right at this height. You should be okay. Oh, the other thing they talk about before hovering in the helicopter handbook is um, auto rotations. They want you to know how to auto rotate, want you to know about it before you even get into hovering. Now, this, this little bit of stuff is really cool. I love this scenery. So um, this is just a uh, basic hover taxi. I'm just using these because they're fun. Uh, so the exercise involves actually going 40 around these, which I think we'll do next week when we get into some more sort of advanced maneuvers. And slow flight is almost an advanced maneuver. So there we go. Just hover taxiing, doing it right. Now, is there a windsock? <laughs> Before we go to a windsock, if there's people, there might be some people listening that know what I'm talking about. Before we go to a windsock, let's go over another awesome taxi exercise. And I should be able, I'm recording now, so I should be able to do this. This is a, something I started doing, I think, in way back when. But I know I did it in FSX a lot because they had tower view. Pretty sure they have tower view in explain too so this is a really fun so now you're in um, a medium high hover you get up into a little bit higher hover and you have to use use the point so you're not looking in your the whole time I forgot to say this you're not really looking in your helicopter you're looking around you're using you're looking at your reference points and I'm gonna hover around the tower so we're just doing a nice slow hover. And this is basically what um, traffic helicopters use, police helicopters use, news helicopters use. They use this a lot. Um, they're usually higher than this, but they hover around, you know, traffic accidents and police chases and all that stuff. Most police chases are slower than helicopters, so they're in very slow flight. So anyway. This is fun. This is a fun one. And you can do it as fast as you want. Oh, Mac on tracks here. Red Heron's here. Dive. All the regulars are here. In just a moment, I'll try and read. I'm not around to the beginning yet. Because I wanted to do... I wanted to replay this. Because it's really fun to watch yourself... Uh, hover around the tower. So I'm going to try to get in a spot where I can do that. I'm almost to where I started. It's fun to look at the 
Especially when you get a new helicopter, which we get a lot of. It's fun to look at it this way. So I'm going to set it down right here. Read the chat. See if there's anything important going on. Hopefully not get into um, a bad situation. Nope, this is good. We're good. Oh, almost. I had to put in a lot of power. Had to put in a lot of power at the end of that. Ah, it's just Iceman. So rotating around a point. Rotating around a point. Thank you. That is it. That's what I'm doing. That's what we're doing here. Rotating around a point. That's not what I meant to do. I just meant to bring up... the recording. So when I hit replay, it's going to go all the way over here, but then I'm going to drag it back to where... Oh, come on. Oh, I have to pause it. Drag my helicopter over here to where I was doing that, because it is fun to do that. Hit resume replay. Now I'm going to be joining in replay mode. I'm going to be joining everyone else in my ghost copter. So I'm going to pop out here and see, see how I can, how I can do this. See how I do. Where's that tower? Where is it? Oh, it's, it's right there. Okay. Drop her down. <laughs> there we go. Now they've already started. They've already done it without me saying anything. It's the whirly-twirly around a point. Rotating around a point is something we do often. We usually call it whirly-twirly around whatever it is. So, lock drone. Boom. Can I lock that? That doesn't work. Nope, it doesn't work. doesn't do what I wanted it to do. Hmm, that's not what I wanted it to do at all. Oh, I see what I did. Anyway, it's very difficult to watch from the tower in this sim. Hey, looking forward to these lessons. Thanks, Inzid. This is the end. No, not quite. Um, yeah, these will also be on YouTube afterwards. And, of course, you can watch the VOD to catch the lesson. Today is hovering. Hovering with Joel. Let's turn that off. And try and get a better angle here. This is great. We have the whirly twirly going. The best angle is actually like this. So my replay, oops, my replay is part of the whirly twirly activity. Oh, and this is when I landed. <laughs> Just when I was trying to catch it. I'm too late. Darn camera didn't work at all. Okay, hit that. I'm back on the ground. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let me try this again. We've still got people going, right? Yes, still got people doing the whirly twirly. Something, oh, something happened. <gasps> is it that? I hit something in the camera that broke it. Oh, I know what it is. It was me. I did it. Smart cam track IR. No. Lock mode is turned off. It was on. I don't know what I did. But I was just trying to catch a few people. Finishing up on the Whirly Tour. There's still some people doing it. That's a weird spot on the obelisk. Off for dinner. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate it. Appreciate the encouragement. Always very awesome. Uh, a long time ago, we used to... Um, I used to have... Where'd it go? I used to have a, a, a tune that I played for every Whirly Twirly. There we go. <laughs> yep. I st it still works. It still works. 
There we are. Uh-oh. Red hair going down. So we got a couple people doing it. Now, one more. The last thing I will do in the most challenging helicopter that I fly, the Bell 47. Uh, and I'm not sure where I'm going to... Well, I'll just pick a spot. I'm going to do... We're going to play around with a high hover. So that is the last bit of hover. In my world, everyone's a pony. And they all eat rainbows and poop butterflies. <laughs> Uh oh, sound effect master is back. He is back. Okay, so I'm not gonna bother with too much of a hover here because now transitioning out of a hover goes something like this. Um, get forward movement quickly and pull back power because this helicopter will break. It will break. Once it gets to transitional lift, which is about 40, then it starts to move up. Thank you for the follow. I can't quite read the name because I'm... There it is. It's, uh... Nope, I can't, I can't read that. But thank you for following. Thank you very much. So now I'm kind of looking for a spot to do a high hover. High hover means you're in, um... You're high enough that if it, if you, uh, fail, you're gonna be, you're gonna want to do a auto rotation from a hover so it means you've got some height boy this doesn't want to climb today because I am in uh, I'm already at 3,000 feet just need to have to have to get a little more forward motion and I'm trying not to break it because it will break it's also the only helicopter it's the only one that um, that the pedals you need the pedals all the time. You need to constantly use the pedals. With the Airland FS helicopters, after 40, you don't really need pedals. But this one, you need to keep it in trim, mostly with right pedal. And it'll fly better if you do. And the, um, see, the bubble works. The indicator here does work on this. Works great. So I'm going to turn around. Go out here and turn around. Try and get some speed up. Just even challenging. Even that is challenging. And I'm going to do a high hover over the uh, first set of helipads. Boy, it just wants to stop. It's just stopping. Don't stop. Turn. There we go. Obviously, don't fly this that much. There it is. So I'm just going to be up here. And if we really want to see something, a crash, then I could try and do a auto rotation from a hover. But I don't even know if I can get this in a high hover and, and for very long. Oh, right now I'm having frame rate problems. There we go. I think that's getting better. So I'm using the helipads as a focus point, and I'm trying to stay in one spot, which I'm not doing very good at. Again, whew, what a challenge I've made for myself. Crazy, um, I'm just backing up. I'm just, I'm just moving backwards. So this has um, gone from high hover to flying backwards. Next week will be fast stop flying sideways and backwards and uh, anything else I can think up before next week and I'll be flying the Huey just for fun because the Huey is one you see doing fast stops a lot so that is basically a high hover let's see if I can uh, get the replay up, up I don't think I can do this oh no I can't okay there we go <laughs> Hold on, let me get it steady again. I'm recording the hover. Because sometimes it looks worse on the inside than outside. Not to, Today it's pretty much looked worse both times. Both ways, either way. That's what I'm looking for, that. So I'm backing up a little. Get the first helipad back in sight. And just hover. Just hang here. There we go. Boy. This one is really hard to control. Really hard to control. 
There it is. And that's uh, the funnest thing is to do a face to face with someone who's in a high hover. That's another really good hover practice exercise. So that's the high hover. Uh, now let's see what happens if I just do this. Okay, I need 60. Engine is cut. Nope, I don't think I'm going to get it. I need to bring my... Maybe. Maybe I'm going to make it. I do have some rotor left. There we go. Almost. Woo! Yep. All good. All good. Made it. Made it. <laughs> Now, let's see what it looks like in the replay, because I was recording that. I have no idea if it'll uh, if it'll show that correctly. So I'm going to just hit replay, see what happens. Let's see what happens today. Here I am in the hover. Sounds like it's still running. Oh, but the engine sounds are off. So once you turn it off, it, it uh, records it as off. So it won't, it won't record the engine sounds very good. It will show the uh, auto rotation though. It'll show it from the outside. You can do a fast stop right into any surface. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yes, indeed. Fast stops are hard without hitting the um, the hitting the tail and in this in this one auto rotations are really hard without hitting the tail so any minute now i'm going to go into the auto rotation there it is there that's the auto rotation started here we go trying to get my speed back up that's why i'm nose diving that's about as much speed as i'm going to get i do have some energy in the blades watch that tail hit oh yeah nope getting it flat yep tail hit that's what punched me forward so I think I was about a five. I think that was about a five. I really think I would have. Um, the first step is a doozy. Yeah. I think I would have survived. I don't know. What do you think? I think I would have made it. I do. I, I think it's possible. Not impossible. Okay. End my replay. The replay has ended. And I'm just hanging out. Uh, it should be shutting down because I shut this down. And I'm not in replay mode anymore. So I'm pretty sure that is. It's shutting down. So let's go through the rest of the shutdown. And then we're going to completely change gears. Um, after a short break. Because my back is not good today. Short break. And we're going to head over. To fly around. That's the power. To fly around in the mountains. Thanks to Dano. Thanks to Dano and Dano's plan. Appreciate people coming by and flying. Well, I tried to impart some wisdom. You once got picked up by Blackhawks that did a tactical stop. They went fully perpendicular into a, into a stop, showing off a Cobra Gold. Oh, showing off at Cobra Gold in Thailand. Whoa. Yeah, those guys can get, um, they can get some pretty incredible stuff going. We have a, um, a Blackhawk mechanic here in the, in the Discord. They can make some radical, radical moves. Well, I know it's barely been an hour, but uh, as I switch over, I'm going to take a short intermission. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There he is. And there's the man himself. So we'll be back in uh, about one, two minutes. About two minutes. Be right back.